Hello friends, in the previous session we have seen a problem of the speed control of DC shunt motor using RF control. So in this session we will see a numerical which is based on armature voltage control. So the motor is almost the same, it is uh, same parameters are there but you can see that I have connected it as a separately excited motor but of course as I have told you separately excited motor and DC shunt motor the parameters are not changed, the voltages are same in the field and the <coughs> Armature, there is not much of difference. So the same theory can be used. Okay. So what is the question? It is a constant torque load. Okay. And you are using armature voltage control. So RA is equal to 0 0.03 ohms. VA is 250 volt. IA is equal to 120 amperes. And the speed at that condition is 1103 RPM. You have to find the speed at VA is equal to 200 volts. That means VA is reduced. Okay. That is what armature voltage control does. So you reduce the speed. And the expected answer is that the speed also will come down. Okay, the speed will be less than 1103 RPM. <coughs> now, let us write the equation that we know is equal to K phi into A. Now, in this case, because you are not varying the value of RF, the flux is equal to constant because IF is equal to constant. Flux is constant because IF equal to constant. You are not changing the value of IF here. You are only changing the value of VA here. Okay. So, I can put the equations, so Ea1 is equal to, so uh, I can write Ea1 would be proportional to N1 and Ea2 will be proportional to N2, okay. So, let us find what is the value of Ea1. So, Ea1 would be equal to Va1 minus Ia, <coughs> sorry, Ia1 into Ra, alright. So, VA1 is given as 250 volt, that is the initial condition, right? So it is 250 minus what is the value? 120 amperes. IA1 is 120 amperes into 0 0.03 ohms. Okay. So what do you get the value? Let me just see what is the value here. So the value here is 246.4 volts. Okay. You can use your calculators and find the value. So EA2 will be equal to VA2 minus IA2 into R. All right, it is VA2 minus IA2 into RA. So here it will be 250 minus IA2 into RA. All right. All right. Now we have reached a roadblock here. You know the value of 250, but what is the value of, uh, sorry, this is 200. VA2 is 200. This is VA2, right? VA1, VA2. We have reached a roadblock because you don't know the value of IA2. And to find the value of IA2, you need the value of EA2. So there are two unknowns here. Let us leave what is the information given. It is a constant torque load. Okay. So what is the torque equal to? Torque induced is equal to K phi into IA. Okay. Now if this has to be constant. Okay. This is a constant already. And flux is also a constant here. Why? Flux is constant because IF is constant. So if torque induced has to be constant, then IA also has to be a constant value. Okay. Therefore, IA is not going to change. So, it is 200 minus, what is the initial value? 120 into 0 0.03. So, IA1 will be equal to IA2. And this particular value will give you uh, 196.4 volts. Alright. So, I can combine all these things together. So, 246.4 volt corresponds to N1. So, N1 is 1103 RPM. And 196.4 volt corresponds to N2. So N2 will be equal to 196.4 divided by 246.4 multiplied by 1103. And this would give me a result of 879 RPM. So clearly the speed has come down. Right? So your answer is going in the right direction. So I hope you have understood the theory between the RF control and the armature voltage control. All right. So in the next session, let us discuss what would happen if you open circuit the field current in a DC shunt machine and what are the bad consequences that is going to come. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel and I wish you a great day ahead and I will see you in my next session. Thank you.